Hello humans, it's Stephen again. Today I'm playing Automobilista, and I thought I'd drive a Caterham 7. Now, there are seven Caterhams in the Britpack DLC, three of which are road cars and four are track versions. The Super Light Sequential, which is what you're looking at, is one of the track versions. It's a bit of a Cinderella car, not too slow, not too fast, but just right. It's also got a six-speed sequential gearbox. Now, the trick with a car like this is to find a circuit that brings out its characteristics, and I think in Carolina Motorsports Park, I found it. I'm just going to do a hot lap. Uh, you'll be able to tell that it's me driving because the tires complain nearly all the way around and I muck up one corner completely, and then I'll do a quick race with the AI. See you on the track. So here we are in the cockpit of a Caterham Superlight Sequential at Carolina Motorsport Park. Now, you don't buy a Caterham for creature comforts. If you look to the left, you'll see some rocker switches there. They've obviously come from a parts bin somewhere. Um, if they were any further away from the driver, they'd be on the outside of the car. Anyway, this is going to be a short race, five laps. The AI is at 104% on medium aggression. Let's have a go. Although the circuit is not even 20 years old, it feels like a throwback. It's like driving down a, a country lane in many respects. Hardly any armco barriers, acres of grass and woodland. And it's a really beguiling circuit. It's got a trick or two up its sleeve. Now, we're in fifth gear and we're coming to a corner. What do you do? Of course, go to sixth. Geronimo. Slam on the brakes. Get the power down. If Caterham has a few million quid and a magician handy, I think they could do worse than buy this track and ship it to Britain because it really is the perfect match for this car. 
lots of slow but flowing corners and some exciting high speed ones as well with big fat curbs to save you if you get it slightly wrong and this is another mod by Patrick Juranton, Gringo and Friends it's version 1.01 And it's available for free at Race Department. And if you do download it, I'm sure the modders would be very grateful if you said thank you or rated the circuit. i definitely give it a 5 out of 5. My only minor quibble, and it's a very minor one, are those marker posts that uh, mark the circuit limit. They're authentic, but I just think they're uh, ugly and they're also difficult to model it's hard to get the shading right for those things apparently and I was saddened to see a recent race at uh, Brands Hatch that some of the corners had those posts on the apex and that's the classic catering experience you get a bit of power on oversteer Now, as ever, I think I've got the AI on a bit too strong and I'm struggling to keep up, so it's going to be the usual sweaty panic to finish not last. <laughs> it's great fun getting the power down. The car really bounces all over the track. Now, this corner has a false apex or fool's apex as it's known so it's stay on the outside and uh, try not to slide off This is where I melted the tyres on that hot lap. The slow corner comes up so quickly after the relief of surviving that flat out corner. And it's uh, easy to forget that you've got to stop rather quickly. Whoa, there we go. Now that's Cadrum doing the business. I've had to tweak the setup a fair bit to get it to behave. But as you can see, it's still a handful. Oh, hello? Someone's got a problem? Watch your right. Clear. Clear right. Right side. Clear. Run away. Oh, I missed that apex by a country mile. But as the, the car warms up and the adhesion in the tyres grows, you can really start to rag the car. Well, I got that wrong, but uh, it just wants to slide through the corners. Like so. This circuit was uh, built on a, an old World War II aircraft training field, hence uh, sea of grass everywhere. And I think it's the only purpose-built road circuit in the state of Carolina, but don't quote me on that. And a few years ago, they realized that these corners here, which were too very slow right-handers meant there were four slow corners all in a row it was a disappointing end to the circuit so they made the last but one corner into that opening curve which is perfect for that power on oversteer which uh, is so characteristic of the caterums and it's a very good 
example of um, a circuit saying, how can we improve a circuit? And they did so by making it faster rather than safer, if that makes sense. Of course, this, to my eyes, this circuit seems very safe because there's so much room everywhere. There's nothing to hit. Apart from the apexes, which I've just missed by another country mile. And now I'm in trouble. Oh lord, look, he's just shot past. Racket. Now we've got to stay in tight for this corner. And there are two lines through this next corner. The outside one is the more exciting one. The inside one is a fraction quicker. And being perverse and untalented, I chose the non-existent centre line. This is well over 90 degrees, that, um, this corner, so it's a bit of a heartbreaker, I should think. If quite a few races have been lost there as people have overshot. Check the flag, that's the end of the session. Car left. And I'm triumphant again, not last. Well, if uh, Fernando Alonso needs a partner, he knows where to come. Right, I'll just park it here. Um, just a reminder that, uh, as I said, this mod, the track, is free and available from racedepartment.com. I've hoped you've enjoyed this video, and uh, until next time, goodbye.